Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. Today I have another beer from uh, Burial Beer Company out of Asheville, North Carolina. Um, this is one of their brewery only releases. This beer is called Death Stalker. It is a 7.4 ABV IPA. Uh, the description, of course, it's uh, dark, just like all their stuff is. It says, They say a moment of damnation waits for the ones who walk in shadows, but hell, why say a prayer for a path never walked? It's quite righteous to follow the soul's intrepid battle with doom. Triple dry hopped with our finest crops of Galaxy and Matueka. So, triple dry hopped Galaxy and Matueka IPA. Um, I have not had this... Uh, my buddy down here, I don't know if he went to Asheville or he got these from someone else, but he grabbed me a can of it, which I appreciate. Uh, I do like Burials IPAs a lot. I generally don't buy them uh, off the shelf because there's a lot of other stuff I buy locally, um, but I'm not going to drive all the way out there just for an IPA release, but I appreciate it when I get it, so... Anyways, this pours a very, very cloudy, I mean, that is, like, milky cloudy, uh, with about a finger's worth of white head. <clears throat> That's weird, it almost has, like, that, um, that nutty, like, woody hop character. A little bit of like overripe and pineapple, um, but they're really, the aroma's kind of muted, it's odd. Hmm. It almost tastes like there's a, uh, There's vanilla in this or something. It's not really strong, but it's also not... Sometimes when I taste vanilla in something, it's also uh, seemingly sweet, but this isn't sweet. It's weird. It's like coconutty, too. Hmm. I don't know, like, it's odd, it just doesn't, I don't get the Matueka or the Galaxy very much, um, wow, that's, it's just it's so weird, um, everything is like super compressed, uh, it's like I taste the hops, but they're so compressed in this tiny little box of flavor. And then you have like a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of malty sweetness, but everything is so um, well rounded and confined. Like, I don't know, this is really strange. I, I don't know that I've ever had an IPA like this before. It's just like earthy and woody and like coconut and vanilla. That's so weird. I know that's not in this. Um, it's like the hops are very bright, but they're not like jumping off the page at the same time. They're they're very bright and subdued. Um, like because it's it's not malty. It's not bland. But there's nothing that's, um, that's sticking way out. Uh, it's also, it hides the alcohol very, very well, too. I, um, other than, the body's pretty full, but I don't taste any alcohol, and I'm not getting, like, any burn in the throat. <coughs> um, 
But it, for it being triple dry hopped, I know that doesn't really mean anything, but I feel like by burial standards it does. And for how freaking cloudy this is, I'm assuming there's a ton of hops in this, but it, it's not like super juicy, but it's really full flavored all the way through it. Um, it's in incredibly balanced, I'll, I'll say that much. Really nice mouthfeel. Uh, I mean, they really got an essence of hops out of this without it being like really bitter at all or pithy. Um, this is really unique. Um, I'm actually really impressed too. I. This is just odd to me. It's odd. Um, it's so well-rounded and dialed in. It's just a weird thing. Um, like, there, there's no one flavor that's even slightly jumping out over any other flavor. It's just, you get a little bit of a bready malt, um, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of orange, some coconut. But they're all so well rounded, it's just like you wouldn't even know that there's hops in this. It's just like, I don't know. It's weird. Very weird. Um, weird in a good way. I just, weird, I guess, weird as in unique, not weird as in gross. Um, yeah, this, I don't know. This is just crazy to me. It's really weird. Uh, but I think on my scale of buy, drink, dump, I'm going to say this is a buy. Uh, I, I didn't buy it, but if I could buy, I wouldn't drive all the way to Burial, which is like two hours from where I live. Um, I wouldn't drive all the way there for this, but if I could get it closer or get it on the shelf, I would definitely buy this again. Uh, it's really unique, very, very well-rounded, um... And again, I was saying this about a couple other breweries today, you know, I've been, sometimes I feel tired of IPAs, but then when I have a really, really good one or one that's pretty unique compared to all of the ones that are like really similar, then it, you know, gets me back into the groove of like, oh, I, I really do still like IPAs. I just need the ones that are really, really good and um, are at the top class or they're unique and set themselves apart in some way. And this is doing that um yeah just really impressed by this um it's a good job barry i appreciate it i think that's all i got in this one though please like comment subscribe let me know what you think and i look forward to doing the next one thanks